BD is committed to patient safety by promoting standardisation of product choice and practice to help reduce the risk of infection and complications associated with catheterisation. The BARD tray is packaged with the essential components needed to perform an aseptic catheterisation procedure and has been evaluated by the Association for Safe Aseptic Practice to support aseptic non-touch technique. Using a Foley tray can drive down the incidence of developing a CORTI by 80% and it has been endorsed by the Infection Prevention Society. It has been calculated that a saving of five minutes per catheterization preparation could be achieved when using the BARD tray compared to using separate items. The BARD tray is available in various configurations with different catheter types for long and short term use, all pre-connected to a selection of drainage bag options including a urine meter. All trays have two stickers displaying the type and size of catheter and collection system. These can be placed on relevant clinical documentation for compliance purposes and in the patient catheter passport. Using a sterile procedure trolley or, in a community setting, a clean, secure working surface, open the barred tray using the thumb guides to ensure that the inner sterile field is not touched. Slide the inner sterile contents onto the sterile preparation field. The first items in the tray are the disposal bag and apron. The disposal bag is only available in the community tray. Next is the underpad. One side is waterproof, the shiny side. Place the underpad beneath the patient with the shiny side face down to protect the bed sheets. There are two pairs of gloves. These are sterile, powder-free and non-latex. They are packed together in the tray. When laying out the components, separate the gloves so there is one set for preparation and one set for the actual catheterization procedure. There is a dignity sheet that is pre-cut with a diamond-shaped hole, removing the need for you to tear a hole yourself. Next is the tray that contains the syringes and can also be used as the galley pot. This part includes five 10 cm by 10 cm sterile gauze pads for washing and cleaning two syringes with sterile water for cleaning that are easily identified by the yellow labels and one empty syringe which can be used if the patient has a catheter that needs removing or it can be used to take a clean sterile sample of urine through the sample port. The fourth syringe contains 10 ml of sterile water to inflate the catheter balloon. The tray can be used when empty for the sterile water when cleaning. There is a 10 ml syringe of water-based lubricant gel, SteriLube. Some gels contain chlorhexidine or lidocaine, which can cause sensitivities or adverse reactions. But SteriLube has no additional active ingredients and so does not have the same contraindications. NICE and EPIC-3 guidelines do not specify that an anaesthetic gel has to be used. They state an appropriate lubricant from a single-use container should be used during catheter insertion to minimise urethral trauma and infection. In the base of the tray is the pre-connected catheter and drainage bag. The red tamper evident seal is a main feature of the pre-connected catheter, preventing accidental bag disconnection and discouraging unnecessary breakage of the closed system. The pre-connection enables a sterile, continuously closed urinary drainage system to be maintained, which is central to the prevention of catheter-associated infection. It has been demonstrated and referenced in NICE guidelines that the risk of infection can be reduced from 97% with an open system to 8 to 15% when a sterile closed system is used as standard practice. It is recommended the collection bag on a pre-connected closed drainage system can remain connected for up to 14 days based on clinician direction if the tamper evidence seal remains intact. 
After the initial catheter insertion, uncompromised maintenance of the closed drainage system is of the highest priority and can reduce the overall risk of corti by up to 25% for up to two weeks of catheterization. Subsequent bag changes should be made every five to seven days or when clinically indicated. Even if the initial bag is required to be removed earlier than the 14-day period, you still have the confidence to know that the catheter and bag have been attached and sterilised as one unit. It can be useful to write the date on the drainage bag to indicate when it will need to be changed so that the period of use can be clearly identified. Finally, there are the leg bag straps, only in the leg bag tray options, and the Statlock Foley catheter stabilisation device. Trauma can be caused by not securing both the catheter and bag and can have long-term effects for the patient. Both EPIC-3 and RCN guidelines support the use of catheter securement devices. The Statlock Foley stabilisation device is one form of fixation that meets all the requirements for stabilising a catheter to prevent movement, friction and tearing of the delicate urethral tissue. The Statlock Foley stabilisation device can remain in place for up to seven days and there is a place on the Statlock Foley stabilisation device to write the date of application. The Statlock stabilisation device has a clamp to secure the catheter which swivels 360 degrees to prevent accidental dislodgement and can prevent the catheter from being pulled down or around the leg. The adhesive on the Statlock device is very strong to hold it securely in place and prevent movement of the catheter. Any movement or friction at the urethral opening can cause trauma or excessive tugging, allowing the skin to wear down and cause meatal tearing. Due to the adhesive, the Statlock stabilisation device requires correct removal, so it is important that the instructions for use are carefully followed and the device is applied and removed in the correct way to work effectively. The bar tray has sustainable benefits. When the catheterization procedure has been completed and the tray used, the waste can be disposed of as per your local policy. There is likely to be less waste than using separate individual products. In a recent pilot study, it was calculated that for every 1,000 catheterizations, a saving of 168 kilograms of clinical waste would be made when using the tray compared to using individual products. In summary, the BARD tray aligns with infection prevention strategies and follows guidelines for best practice, therefore reducing the risk of CORTI. To ensure patients receive a safe discharge from hospital into the community setting and can easily obtain further supplies of the BARD tray, BD provides a dispensing appliance contractor service, Script Easy. This is a free home delivery service that can dispense continence products on receipt of a prescription. 